if you are on my channel, I'm sure you are here to learn and get tips about the music industry. Hello, my name is Rosaria Lubende, they call me my Madudu. I'm a music promoter and a music manager. On my channel, I teach and give tips to independent artists and up and coming artists about the music industry. I got involved into music industry through my husband, who was a lead guitarist and the founder of the Real Sounds of Africa band. My father too was a lead singer in a band called Limpopo Jazz Band from Republic of Congo, DRC. This is why I love music. This is why I have an ear for music. This is why I do music promotion. In this series, I'll be talking and sharing video clips of the greatest artists of all time. I'll start with artists from Africa and move on to other continents. Which one comes first? I don't know. So let's get straight into the topic. Today, I am so excited talking about this particular artist because there's a little story behind it which is a bit exciting and touching at the same time. I've always said at some point in our lives we have listened to a great song and felt shivers down our spine. When that happens, there's no doubt you are listening to a great song. Hearing the lyrics, it's icing on the cake. You don't necessarily have to understand the lyrics the sound, the beat, the instruments coming together can create a great song. The beat and the rhythm of the song must be universal, must speak universal language. And when I say that, your song, whichever you create, must appeal to all races. This is why I say music must be universal language. The sound and the beat of music can make or break a song in a way meaning it can make the difference between a hit and a flop song. This is why it is so important for artists when creating a song to take as much time as they need not to rush. It's not about competition, it's about producing quality, not quantity. Oliver Ngoma's music touched and reached so many races. I once worked with a neurosurgeon from Kuwait, and this artist is from Africa, who would perform operations listening to his songs, but unfortunately he had a limited amount of songs. I had to ask my husband to do a compilation of Oliver Ngoma's songs so that I can give him as a present. This is how much he loved the music so much. And he was so, so thankful. I always emphasize that music, you don't necessarily have to understand the lyrics. It's the beat, it's the sound, it's the guitar, it's the saxophone, all together creating the best song. Without wasting any of your time, today I am so honored and excited to be introducing you to the late Oliver Ngoma from Gabon with his hit song, Adia, Take It On. That is what you call great music. It's just unique. You don't necessarily have to understand the lyrics. It's just the beat, the sounds, which makes me feel shivers down my spine. It's a great song. Listen to it again. The song, it's great. This is why I said to artists, it is important. Take your time. There is no rush. Create quality, not quantity. Listen to the song again. That 
that is music to me. I hope it makes sense to up and coming artists and independent artists. Please like, subscribe, and don't forget to press that buzzer so that each time I upload a new video, you'll be notified. I will leave you listening to Oliver Ngoma, take it on. And bye-bye.